There's a good chance you haven't been to a buffet in a while, and suspiciously sticky utensils aren't the only reason. So many people are skipping buffets that the entire sector of the industry is declining. According to Forbes, buffets are shutting down all over the country. We've said goodbye to Sizzler's buffets, and all-you-can-eat options like Ponderosa, Bonanza, and Big Boy are also closing their doors. Why? Here's the reason buffets are disappearing. Photo Faux Pas it's easy to understand just how important Instagram is to the food world. Top hashtags include ones like foodie and I love food, and it's filled with the beautiful, the delicious, the decadent, and the super healthy. That said, you can probably guess what the problem is. Buffets just aren't as Instagram friendly as the little independent cafe that's making their menu based on what they found at the farmer's market that day. Bon Appetit says no one should underestimate the influence Instagram's heavy hitters have. The biggest accounts have hundreds of thousands of followers and can drive loads of traffic to a restaurant just by posting a photo. Do you know where these people aren't going for their food? photos, the all-you-can-eat buffet. Let's face it, food prepared in bulk quantities and served in large metal warming trays are not usually photogenic. Germ Service If you've ever wondered about how sanitary buffets are, you're definitely not alone. The truth is, you probably should worry about it, and knowing that isn't going to improve business for buffets. Even if buffets follow all food safety regulations, there's still a huge problem — serving utensils. You're using the same tongs and forks to pile food on your plate as everyone else. Couple that with Tonic's report that only about 66% of Americans wash their hands the right way after using the restroom, and sharing that serving spoon looks even less appealing. Is it any wonder people are going elsewhere? Generation Gap Millennials are going to be running the world one day when it comes to the food industry. They're already pushing some major changes. In 2018, Business Insider reported that their impact was about to become even greater as they passed the baby boomer generation in terms of pure spending power. Sales are down across the board, but mostly we're failing to connect with a group called Millennials. That means the food industry is going to have to change with them, and they're not looking for the same kind of food experiences their parents and grandparents enjoyed. They're not impressed with the casual dining restaurants or the buffets. Instead, they're opting for takeout or fast casual restaurants like Chipotle. Chipotle. What are you going to do? Go to Taco Bell? <laughs> Those types of restaurants are about as far from buffets as you can get, and that's causing a big problem for businesses that bank on all-you-can-eat enthusiasts. Overeating is out Healthy eating is getting more and more popular. Even fast food chains are creating healthier options. That's a problem for buffets. Buffets were built on a simple idea. You pay a set price, then gorge yourself until you can't move. Then you wait a few minutes and go back for dessert. Sure, there are always going to be people that want to do that, but an increasing majority of people are watching their calories and their waistlines, and buffets just aren't a good place to do that. Even Harvard Health says buffets can be a health-conscious diner's worst nightmare. And it's not just the type of food. It's the tendency to overeat, the difficulty in judging portion sizes, and the lack of posted nutritional information. No service. The restaurant business is always changing, and so are people's attitudes about how food gets to their table. Specifically, they don't want to do it themselves. A customer feedback research group took a look at what impact that's having on what customers see as their ideal restaurant experience. It turns out that diners want to know not just what's in each dish, but how it's prepared and how it's sourced. With no real staff present in buffets, that's an experience diners definitely aren't going to get. Many diners aren't just content to pile mystery dishes on their plates and chow down. Money Rules In order to make money, buffets need to subscribe to a pretty restrictive business plan. It's a delicate balance. Price your buffet too high, for example, and people won't come. Too low, and they won't come either, because they'll be suspicious about the quality of food they're getting. Plus, they are limited by the economies of scale. They need to offer food that's filling, but still cheap, such as rice. That limits what they can offer. Buffets have so many money-making rules that it's tough for them to break the mold, do something new, and lure in new customers without devastating their bottom line. Bankruptcy In 2006, Buffets, Inc. merged with Ryan's, creating a powerhouse of all-you-can-eat chain restaurants, including Hometown Buffet, Old Country Buffet, and Ryan's. It hasn't worked out. I declare bankruptcy! When the Star Tribune reported on the sudden shuttering of a number of locations in 2016 following a bankruptcy filing, they noted that since 2008, more than 400 locations had closed. The closings left a massive hole in the buffet-style dining industry, which might be a big reason it's hard to find a good buffet these days. Sizzling Out more than one chain of buffets has struggled lately. Remember Sizzler? Their woes go back to at least 1996, when the New York Times reported they closed 136 locations and filed for bankruptcy. 
Part of their problem was their buffet. It seemed like a great idea to give their target customers the variety they wanted, but it didn't work. Sizzler tried to partner buffets with steak, but when presented with either a pricey steak or a wide expanse of buffet food, too many customers were opting for the lower-priced buffet. Buffets also take up a lot of space, and according to restaurant consultant Ron Paul, the average Sizzler was around 10,000 square feet too small for buffet tables. That took away from the number of people they could seat at once, and all that combined to mean the chain was headed for disaster. Looking at bankruptcy, they decided to rebrand. They eventually staged a comeback, but they did it without a buffet. Vegas Buffet Bust there was a time the $1.99 all-you-can-eat buffet was as much a part of the Vegas landscape as any casino. The super-cheap buffets are gone now, and it's not just a matter of rising food prices. They were never meant to make a profit. They were meant to get potential gamblers in the door. According to Time, there are a few reasons why this scheme's largely disappeared. You can blame foodies for a big part of it. People are more demanding than ever as to what's on their plates, but they're willing to pay more for top quality. And these buffets weren't fitting the bill.